Hey, what's up, everybody? Richmond Street here, Hempstead, New York. Today we're going to review Concord 11s. These are releasing um, December 8th. This Saturday, next Saturday. Box price is 220 Color white, black, Concord. And black box is repeating again in Spanish. Um, anyway, so it's, you can see it's going back to the old school OG box. Um, I, mean, I like the idea of going back to these old, old school boxes, but... I always kind of thought that this shoe should have a little extra special, um, you know, especially this shoe, the Concord 11s, is, I think it's probably like the number one shoe that um, Jordan, Brand Jordan came out with. Um, what they should have done was they should have made a nice box that this one would be fit inside of, and at least so they can keep that really beautiful packaging they usually have, have with uh, the Jordan 11s, but like I said, the idea is cool with the OG box, but I would have liked it to be inside another, Another little bit more involved box, so um, that's, that was just my idea, my thought on that. But anyway, listen, it's a gorgeous shoe for sure. Probably the number one shoe. Um, brief history, the shoe comes out in 95, over 96. Uh, Tinker Hatfield shoe. Um, he got his theme from a, um, a car. That's where this, the, the patent leather comes from. It's like the metal of the car, and then the cordura here is for like the ragtop convertible. They took a little bit of his basketball cord laces on here. Um, it has zoom air technology. They put a carbon fi fiber plate in the shoe. Um, the patent leather actually helped for the uh, stability of the shoe. It doesn't stretch like leather does, so it kind of kept his, his foot in there a little bit tighter and snugger, so it worked well as far as performance-wise. And this is Cordura here. And this, uh, this indestructible bulletproof stuff here um, was um, lightweight but really strong. Um, yeah, so that's just a little brief history, I mean, of the shoe. Um, this shoe here has 45. The 45, originally it came out with the 45, um, then it was switched to 23 after Mike. He didn't have that great of a game, so he, he switched this from the 45 jersey back to 23. The reason why he has 23 is, um, 45 is, is a pretty big significance to Mike. He, um, his high school, was, he, he wore 45, um, then also his brother wore also 45 as well, and we, we joined the same team. Of course, he didn't want to have the same number as his brother, so he cut it in half, which he didn't do 22 and a half, so he rounded up to 23. So that's how the 23... He ended up picking up the number 23, but um, in this season when he came back after baseball, because he, he came back retiring after baseball, he also had 45 in the, in the, in the, when he was playing baseball. Um, but he played, like I said, I think in one game of these, and after that, since that was a bad game, he, he took that jersey off and went back to 23. So, um, so after that, all the numbers were 23 in the back. But that's where that 45 is. It was just the original one he had worn. But um, yeah, these are gorgeous. Everybody's seen them, and also too, this is different. The shoe. Came out in 95, um, what was it, 2000 at Retro, then 2011 at Retro, and now 2018. Um, I know the 2011 Retro, because I did that review, This ha it had the low patent leather. This is the higher patent leather, like I, it was, you know, what, what, how it was originally made. I like it better this way. Um, I definitely think it gives more to the shoe. I mean, both ways look nice, but I definitely like I'm more partial to this, um, the higher patent level, higher patent level on the shoe. Um, Yes, like I said, so you've got the little Jumpman Jordan right there. That's in that like Greek style writing. That's on the tongue. Uh, let me see what's in it. And you have this again, the plastic. I don't want to take it all the way out, but everybody knows it's got that plastic in there. The insert helps keep that, that patent leather in there nice and make it look um, um, nice in the box for you. So, yeah, like I said, these definitely are beautiful shoes. Also, I looked at it too. I, I think, oh, this one looks, that icy blue bottom. I think originally it was an icy blue. I think it was just a uh, just this flat ice bottom. This has that little blue tint to it. Um, I think I remember looking one time that was it, when I first saw one of the original ones. It was an icy blue, so it gives it gives it a little bit different look, but still pretty close to the original way that the shoe comes out. I, you know, originally came out in the original form in 1995. But um, yeah, this is the shoe that everybody waits for all year long, and um, you can never get enough of these pair. That's for sure. Um, as far as hats go, believe it or not, I have. Back from my 2011, we had made these hats. I only have a couple hats left, believe it or not. And I found them in the back, so I brought them out here. Um, that's the hats we had made for them. I don't really have that much of an inventory, and these were, yeah, these were these were fitted. So there's not that much to go around, but I, just, I like showing it with it because it matches it perfect. We had made that um, seven years ago for, for it, but I thought that looked pretty cool. How that patent leather was, and of course we the Bulls, and we always do Yankees almost in every hat we do here, but. Um, yeah, so that's a pretty cool looking shoe, and um, I hope I hope everybody tries to you know be able to get a pair. Let me show you too. We have a little bit of clothing. They usually a little bit more broader on the clothing that we have for it, but um, this happened to be really nice. I'll put this here, this one here. 
This is a nice t-shirt. It's fifty dollars, but I tell you what, the weight is really nice on it. Of course, it's got the seventy-two ten, that record that year. Jordan looks really nice. The pants, I mean, the piece because the material is really nice on, on, on both the shirt and the pants. Um, like I said, that was fifty, I think. It wasn't that much money either, really. It was a pretty good price, really. Let's see, like seventy-five dollars. Yeah, seventy-five dollars for the pant. That's, this is a really nice pant that they, that Jordan brand made. They also have the white one. Um, see here, I'm back. That's when he came back from baseball, 95, 96. Again, the same, the pant. Really nice. 75 for the sweatshirt, 75 for the pant. So just a couple, a couple pieces there for the outfit. Um, looks nice with it. So um, yeah, so that's the clothing cord that we carry. Here's a couple extras here. How do you, I wasn't gonna put some extras on, but I figured let me do it. Um, I think the next video I'm gonna end up doing is the Tinker Eights, but. I'll put something on that one too. This shoe has been out already. We just got ours uh, in. Um, this is that Oliver Branding, the all black. So whoever didn't get a pair of these, we have them. We just got them back in. This that's a hundred dollars. This is a hundred dollars too. This like burnt orange. This is really cool. It's almost like a canvas denim. I like the shoe a lot with this dark orange gum bottom. This is cool. Look, hundred bucks. Uh, Air Max two seventy. These are new colorway. Um, these are one fifty. This is the Bowfin. I've been showing you a lot of colors on this. This is actually a size 10. I just got this in today. Uh, not all the sizes come in, but that's a pretty cool color with that red, yellow, and black. I like how that hits. This shoe's been selling really well. I have to make sure to see if this, this shoe come out yet as far as the release date, but this is this is 160. Air Max 95, you saw that last one, that white, black, and red one. Um, I mean, if you remember, that had that white around the bottom. This is a little bit darker, which I like this one better. Um, these are 190, the Vapor Max 95s. Um, I think this has a better look to it um, when, when the when the bottom part is a little bit darker. So, fully cool look. And these are the new Vapor Max. These are the 2019 Vapor Max. This is the first shoe we got in here. Um, really cool colorway. I like this, this this a lot. You gotta really be inventive as far as matching it up, but we have a, we have a couple couple suits that hit off pretty well with it, but cool, 190 for these. Um, I think that's it. Uh, what else we have? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, we're gonna take your last look at the uh, the Concord 11s. Like I said, the, the next video I'll probably shoot will be those, um, the Tinker 8s. So, Merry Christmas, Street Gear out.